what they're doing is they're putting the frames together. Sorry, they didn't hear you. Sorry. Corner inserts. Corner inserts. Sometimes you might have to use a rubber mallet. Pretty time you don't have any problem with them. it up so it's all squared. Lock it in place. Good. Measure it out. So 23 and 7 8. Give it two inches each way. So you have right here you have 20 figure 24. So you cut the Cut your inspector 28, give you two inches each way. So I'll come over here on the roller. That's 27 and a half. 27 and a half. If I get it where I need it, make sure it's there. start with this side you have to lightly groove it in and as it grooves in with the heat it starts to just shape itself in there once you got your groove made then it starts to seat in there you just got to hold the material as you go get it in you'll have to come back to this side in a little bit We'll show you. you stretch it here, the opposite side, same thing, you have to hold it. That's what the two inches is for, so you can hold the material. Once you have it, you go all the way across. here then you start setting it Just hold it a little bit this side will stay tight on you where you don't have to come back to stretch the material that's already tightened you have second time on the opposite side because it's you have just have to do it twice on here so the material stay real tight. Hold on a little bit. 
it allows you to quarter. See the groove from one to another. It allows you about a quarter to three eighths. Then you make it, you stretch it, you hold it with your fingers. But you make the groove again. Make your groove all the way down, stretching it with your fingers. Once you have it stretched, you start to wrinkle it in. You can see the material gets tighter. Once you have it ready, just flying in. You gotta work from both ways, from the center out. Center out on both sides so it can pull the material. You can see the little wrinkles, they go away. Then we get more spline for the sides. And what I like doing is I like pulling it back a little bit so I can groove it in to my corners. Once I get it where I have it already. Let it go. Tighten it up. Tighten it, same process. From center out both ways. Then you'll see right here, you'll see that wrinkles get tight. There. There. You'll see a little wrinkle get, get that wrinkle out of that way. Same system here. You'll do this to all your, all your inflectors. Same system here. Get it. This material, if you're wondering why we have so much left, it's because we had a job that we're doing and it called for a bigger size, but, uh, so that's that. But you always try to get just two inches, not two inches all the way around. Once I tighten that one in, you'll see right here, uh, it starts to get tighter and tight. And that's how the inflector is put together. Then we get scissors, put your edges. Corner. Once I get all the spline ready, now you try to tuck it. What I've learned is you could try to tuck it with the plastic one, but I have a metal one that I try to use for the corners. It just works a little more sturdier. It tucks the corners in better. You can use a flathead to tuck it if you have problems with it coming up. You just tuck it real good. And it tucks it all in. You see the material moving as it goes. Tuck all the material. And once you have it all tucked, get a utility knife. Start from one end carefully, rubbing up against the spline in each corner, cut it, cut all the corner. And that's how the inflector is made. And what's your name? My name is Larry Mercer and I work for Donald Fetzer. And then you can see a little bit of weight, so the way to take those out. Out in. Yes, that's amazing. <laughs>
That's and again, it. that's a flat head, um, a plastic flat collar. Flat head, it's, a, it's, a flat head. it's just a, a regular screwdriver. Uh, one, two, that's a four and four one. And, uh, but you can just get you a basic one and just to tuck it in or you can blunt it a little bit but it works real good for the corners. Okay, all right. And this I use for the corners sometimes if the plastic roller is good for the whole job. Try not to use a metal one for the inflector because it'll rip it. It's not made for it. But it's good to tuck in the corners a lot better. It's more sturdier. Just to tuck your corners in and then you're done. Okay. And we got the extruded, the extruded frame. He's got the magnets already made. This is a roller machine right here. You can roll out the material. You can just measure it. Okay. Then we take them over here. And he puts the uh, the high bond tape. I'm gonna put this glue in. Yeah, I want to give him the I was doing one, but I wanted to be able to show another one. 3M high bond tape. That's push. 3M high bond tape. And I'll just push on the lightning stick and stick. I'm going to take out the tape and it won't come off. Actually, it's called VHB, very high bond. You got a thing that's a nice disc. What he's doing is he's taking off the seal on the VXB, very high bond tape, so they can do put on the uh, uh, industrial strength um, magnets. And again, this is the uh, extruded frame where we will be attaching the inflector insulator, and then it will be complete. And as you notice, he's just running along the edge here, putting that, VX, that uh, industrial strength magnet onto the very high bond tape. Just did a little cutting. We'll follow this procedure. With the VHB, you have about 20 minutes to change it, pull it back off, re put on it. After 20 minutes, it's half as strong as it gets. And in 24 hours, it becomes like part of the material. It's like liquid cement. Sticks it right on under that uh, thing, but first you gotta let it dry, and then we'll see the end product in a second. So this goes inside the window, and this is how you'll see here the magnetic strip. And how it's applied is this: is it simply just pops in and off, and you can pop it off and just take it off and put it in the winter or summer configuration. And uh, again, that's very high bond tape. That's extruded frame on the aluminum frame, excuse me, steel frame, and uh, that's uh, what it is. And uh, that's an inflector uh, window insert. We'd like to thank uh, both of y'all. What's your name, sir? Raymond. And you, sir? Gary. Thank y'all so much. Uh, Donald Fitzer and his peer insulation team. Uh, and uh, again, that is a finished product for uh, inflector window insulators and superior insulation located here in San Antonio, Texas. And that's Dennis Roberts. Did you show the going inside the carrying case? Yes, I did. Yes, I already showed that. Yeah. And this is the carrying case in which they, they do the transportation in to Lackland Air Force Base. And this is the various, and like I said, it just comes out like this. And there's about probably like 20 or 25 uh, per uh, box. And uh, this is how they transport it. And that's an inflector window insulator through Superior Window Insulation located here in San Antonio, Texas. Thank you so much, Donald Fetcher and team and everybody. And uh, that concludes our uh, training on how to put an inflector window insulator in. The next thing, if you 